Hello, hello! Welcome to the Electron X Lab. In this video, I'm going to go through Ohm's Law and Joule's Law equations and look at the different forms that they can take. In 1841, James Prescott Joule discovered that heat could be generated by a current. And more specifically, he discovered the heat which is evolved by the proper action of any voltaic current is proportional to the square of the intensity of that current, multiplied by the resistance to conduction which it experiences. In other words, the power is proportional to I squared times R. And because of the way that we have defined units for power, current, and resistance, power in watts is equal to current in amps squared times resistance in ohms. And this is known as Joule's law or Joule's first law. And you probably know that this equation has three different forms, but we'll come back to where these different forms come from in just a sec. Where I want to start is that with this understanding that with resistive devices or circuits, there are four quantities that the device or circuit will have, and these are voltage, current, resistance, and power. And if you know Joule's law equation in one form, power is equal to voltage times current, and you know Ohm's law equation in one form, voltage equals current times resistance, and you know any of the two quantities, you have enough information to calculate the other two quantities. So if I know power and voltage, I can determine current and resistance. Or if I know voltage and resistance, I can calculate power and current, and so on. And there are actually 12 different equations that come from Joule's Law and Ohm's Law that are relating voltage, current, power, and resistance to each other. And you may have seen a wheel that looks like this that defines all 12 equations that you need to know. You can see that each of the voltage, current, resistance, and power have three different equations for calculating them based on the other three parameters. And this seems like a lot of equations to memorize, and it is. So please, there's no need to memorize them all. You only need to memorize one form of Joule's Law and one form of Ohm's Law, and you can derive all the others. First, you can just rearrange the equations. So for Ohm's Law, I can rearrange it to write it in terms of current. If I divide both sides of the equation by voltage, then I get current equals power over voltage. Also, if I divide both sides of Joule's Law equation by current, I get voltage equals power over current. I can do a similar rearranging with Ohm's Law equation. If I divide both sides by resistance, I get current equals voltage divided by resistance. And if I divide both sides of the equation by current, then I get resistance equals voltage over current. So with just minimal rearranging, I can get six of the 12 forms of the equations relating voltage, current, resistance, and power. Next, I can do some substitution. If I substitute into the power equation, so if I substitute voltage equals current times resistance into the power equation, into Joule's law, then I get power equals current times resistance times current, which we know better as power equals current squared times resistance. Also, if I substitute current equals voltage over resistance into the power equation, I get power equals voltage times voltage over resistance, which of course we know better as power equals voltage squared over resistance. Another substitution I can do, I can go from Joule's law into the resistance form of Ohm's law. So if I substitute voltage equals power over current into Ohm's law, I get resistance equals power over current over current, which is equal to resistance equals power over current squared. And I can also substitute current equals power over voltage into that same equation and get resistance equals voltage over power over voltage, which is equal to Resistance is voltage squared over power. I can substitute into the current equation. If I put voltage equals power over current into current equals voltage over resistance, I get current equals power over current over resistance. Now, if I bring the current to the left-hand side of the equation, I get I squared equals P over R. And finally, taking the square root of both sides of the equation, I get current equals the square root of power over resistance. And finally, for the 12th equation, if I substitute current equals power over voltage into the voltage form of Ohm's law, I get voltage equals power over voltage times resistance. Now bringing the voltage over to the left-hand side of the equation, I get voltage squared equals power times resistance. And finally, taking the square root of both sides of the equation, I get voltage equals the square root of power times resistance. So starting with knowing one form of Joule's law and one form of Ohm's law, I was able to derive all of these forms of the equations with some simple equation rearrangement and substitution. And here I've split them up into their respective voltage, current, resistance, and power form in this grid here. And I can also see that in the, in the circle here. I don't think either the grid or the circle are particularly good memory devices for remembering all of the equations, so I don't think it's worth it to even try. Just remember, you only need to memorize one form of Joule's law, P equals VI, and one form of Ohm's law, 
v equals i r, and you can derive all of the others. And with enough practice and use of the equations, the other ones will start to sink into your memory and you won't even have to derive them anymore. So I hope that helps you a little bit with your understanding of the Joule's Law and Ohm's Law equations. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time. And don't forget, something, 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 inspirational something.